Congratulations to Mumbai Indians taking out IPL 2019 in what was an absolute thriller against CSK. Now let's look at some key moments in this matchup on Hogs Vlog. Firstly, tactical areas. Mumbai Indians, we know, struggled against left arm off spin. CSK went in with only one left arm off spin of Jadeja and they only bowled him for two overs. Not only that, he didn't come on till the 14th over. So a big tactical blunder from CSK off the bat. Now the big matchup was Tahir versus Pollard. Now Mumbai Indians were four for 94 with six overs to go at this moment. Tahir knew the presence, knew the pressure of the big hitting Pollard creates when he comes to the crease. First ball, full toss, six runs. But he gets back into the contest with a good length bowling. Puts the pressure back on Pollard. But Pollard counter ups by getting deep in his crease and was able to put the pressure back on uh, Tahir with a powerful one down to deep mid on. And then the next ball, Tahir starts to get a little nervous and bowls a long hop and Pollard gets another six. That was the key momentum changer with that contest, Pollard getting on top. But an over later, Takur bowling to Hardik Pandey. A big moment, top edge. Reiner, normally safe as houses with his hands, drops an absolute dolly. Hardik Pandey went, went on and scored 13 off the next four balls. So those two key moments allowed Mumbai Indians to score another 55 in those last six overs and get a score on the board of 149. Now we know at Hyderabad the par score is around about 175, but in a final, take 25 off that, and that's par score for a final, around about 150, so Mumbai Indians were on the money. So Mumbai Indians should have canted this game in, but it was a terrible fielding performance. The first, worst display I've seen from them all year. Now, overthrows in the second over. Boomer and miss fielding off Chahal in about the seventh over. A one turns into four. Malinga dropping a simple catch. Chahal dropping a simple catch out in the deep. Uh, who else was there? There was buys from De Kock, a simple take. It cost them 14 runs on the scoreboard. So CSK were able to stay in the game because of those mishaps. Now let's talk about those catches. Malinga, simple catch. Chahal, simple catch. Chahal caught and bowled. All three catches were against Watson. Big wicket, big game player. Remember, he was man of the match last year in the final. He scored 100, taking CSK home in that event. Tonight, it was Watson that got the 80. It was Watson that was taking him home. They gave him too many chances. Big blunders from Mumbai Indians, but they're lucky to stay in the contest, and they're lucky that it was Malinga in the final over, but it was Boomer and Chahal's bowling that was able to apply the pressure to uh, cause the downfall of CSK. But let's look at some key figures, key stats in T20 cricket. CSK, 55 dot balls they had in their innings. Mumbai Indians, 51. So Mumbai Indians, four runs up there. Boundaries, fours, CSK had 12 fours. Mumbai Indians had nine. So CSK, 12 runs in front on the four, uh, four score count. Boundaries over the fence, sixes. Six to CSK, nine to Mumbai Indians. So Mumbai Indians, another 18 in front. So if you look at the runs off the bat, Mumbai Indians were 10 runs in front. But you look at that poor fielding, CSK ended up being four runs in those key components. But let's look at fielding components. We've gone through the catches. Mumbai Indians dropped three catches, the three catches of Watson. CSK dropped the one catch, but it's the runouts. Runouts win matches. CSK had run, one run out, but that was McLanigan in the final overs where he was just sacrificing his wicket to get Pollard back on strike. The two big runouts for Mumbai Indians were Dhoni in the middle period where Malinga's had a shy at the stumps, overthrows, Ishan Kishan was in the deep, knew what was going on, match awareness backed up, Came up as Dhoni was trying to take the second. Ishan Kishan pounced on it, threw down the stumps, and Malinga was out by inches or centimetres. Sorry, millimetres. It was so close. Good bit of fielding, match-changing run out. But that, then that final over, 
They had Cronell Pandier out deep rather than McLannigan who uh, was there before, the over before, and there was a one turned into a two. So good change of field by Rohit Sharma. He pounced on it quickly. Shane Watson, slow between the wickets, couldn't turn quick enough and was out by a metre because of Cronell Pandier's fielding. So it was those two runouts at the end of the day that won it for the Mumbai Indians. It was a great game, great final, loved it. Congratulations to Mumbai Indians. And I'll see you for next Hogs Vlog where we start talking about the Big World Cup.